So hell, Dean, I work as a colonial marine for alien war tours. My duties are to take 12 members of the public through an alien infested complex. The whole idea is we take people through an expedition of captured life forms. As you're looking around with your guide, the alarm systems go off and all hell breaks loose while we're down there. It becomes an act of survival. It's up to the Marines to get you out in one piece and alive from the other side. All right, what we basically have here is about, is about 14,000 square feet of set. Um, a lot of the pieces were actually brought direct from Pinewood Studios. Um, the two Scottish guys that set this up actually went down there and managed to get a lot of the original uh, set pieces. And um, all the panels that are used around here are actually a lot of classic science fiction panels used in films and TV shows. I had a, an audition, it was a two-week audition. We had a script to follow and we'd run around through a marking on the floor. It was a very tough time for us all. Everybody working at Alien War is Marine, all professional actors. Right, what I do with the marketing for the company, um, it's my job basically to turn the business around, hopefully to actually uh, go and hit a different marketplace. Uh, at the moment, obviously, we're trying to launch off a behind the scenes tour so we can make something a little bit more educational. Uh, and basically answer a lot of the questions that kids have got. Uh, show them how special effects movies are made, the makeup in movies, and really re reveal a lot of the secrets that they've always wanted to know. standard um, and basically came down the ad said audition for alien war at planet Hollywood such and such a time I think it was a Wednesday at nine o'clock in the morning so I went down uh, and there was a massive queue right the way around you know with planet Hollywood goes and it goes around the corner there's a massive queue of about 500 people there and I was right at the back and I thought oh god I thought maybe I shouldn't do this and I got talking to a couple of people in the queue they were quite good fun so I just thought oh, it's my day off you know and uh, hung around there and uh, went in had an audition um, and then they told me to come back. Well, well they said they'd phone me up. Uh, phoned me about a week later, asked me to come for a second audition, which was actually upstairs in the Trocadero, um, and got it through that. The place was actually being built while we were uh, practicing, doing it all, like getting, getting ourselves together. The place was actually being built. Uh, and we were trained in this big room upstairs in the Trocadero. It's like a, it's an office space, basically, with stone floors. I trained up there, and what they did was on the floor they drew out the whole base with chalk um, and we were told how to move around and that kind of thing. It lasted about two weeks uh, and we never, it's very strange, we never actually got to do any training in the base. The first time we got to wear the gear, all the gear, the head, the gloves, the costume was when we did the first group. So we didn't, we had like training out, out of costume but we never had any proper training in costume so that was very, quite demanding the first couple of times we did it, you know. To begin with, quite badly, quite badly. Um, didn't, I mean, there, there are a few hiccups here and there, you know, like heads falling off and people not sure where they were going to be and being in the right, wrong place at the, at the wrong time, you know, and, and all that kind of thing. Um, but I mean, like I said, after about a week, it was fine. I've been at Alien War uh, roughly since it opened. Um, I actually came on board a, a, about a week after it opened. I was basically brought in just as sort of, um, how can I put it, as uh, background information really. I'd, I'd worked on Alien 3 and uh, I was brought in just for uh, like a continuity type thing. I was here to help with the sets, help with the special effects, the creature suits, stuff like that. I just put, put a little bit of the uh, experience I'd learnt on the third film into doing this place. It's kind of a, uh, a multi-dimensional role at the moment. Um, we're having to do, uh, we have a small department here, a special effects department. Uh, it's like having to do all the effects on the movie. We have to do the set building, the creature suits, all the special effects, the mechanical effects. We have to do all the, the armour here, all the fibreglass armour, the helmets, things like that. So. 
you don't. I mean, my specific field is um, special makeup and creature effects. But working Alien War, it's like working on a movie set every single day. So we're having to, to concentrate on every aspect of that particular field. As I said, ranging from sets right through to uh, changing a plug. The best group is when you get a group of, uh, of screamers. Uh, we call them screamers. They're like screaming kiddies or screaming girls going around. You know, When you hear them screaming, then you really get into it. Um, a lot more than if a group... I mean, a group that doesn't scream can still be scared, of course, because people show it in different ways. But when they're screaming, you can feel it. You can really feel the atmosphere there, so you get into it more. Um, they're usually the best groups. I, I enjoy Saturday groups because you get a lot of kids come down on Saturday, and it's, it's very constant as well. There's always a group in the base, so you can get into it a lot more. When you're constantly doing it, you really get a feel for it as well, um, which is, is best. And I, I'd say screaming kids, you know. I get a sense of enjoyment. When there's, when there's a good group, when there's been a really good group, you can come and you can sit down afterwards, you can say to yourself, yeah, that was good, I enjoyed that, you know? Um, there are days, obviously, it's like a, it's a job, you know? There are days when I come, come to work and, and I'm not into it. Everybody's like that, whatever you do. Um, and there are days when I come to work and I enjoy it, you know? And it, it's, it's fun, you know, the people here are great. The reason I've stayed so long is I think the people. Well, really, I mean, the, the people that have been here since the beginning, um as you spoke to Martin Astles, he's got a lot of experience in the industry and without him, uh, Alien War really wouldn't be here. Uh, we've got him to thank for a lot of the special effects and the creature effects and um, really we're very lucky to have a team that's so strong. I guess it all started when I was about, ooh, about three and I saw uh, London Art, no I didn't, I saw um, Phantom of the Opera with Lon Chaney Jr. and I was so completely impressed by the makeup I knew from that early age that uh, that's what I wanted to do. So I proceeded to go into my father's shed and I brought out a pot of linseed oil putty and smeared over my mother's face in, in uh, the full belief that's the sort of thing they did. Um, and I guess over the next 10 or so years I just experimented with uh, paints and facial putties and things like that, just doing makeups and taking photos. Uh, and then I discovered a, a magazine called Fangoria and uh, after reading that, I discovered that I was well behind in my techniques and uh, just spent the next few years developing, really. And uh, I kept writing to film studios for about four or five years, um, just trying to get hints and tips on the work. Uh, and then eventually I got offered a job when I was at art school on a movie. And uh, I left art school, packed it up, started in the movie industry and have been there ever since, really. It was one of the original ideas was to set up a limited sort of fan club. Um, at the time, obviously, the, things were so hectic and everything went through its teething problems. Um, but now we're in the process of relaunching it. We've actually got a lot of things planned. We're going to do a trilogy weekend where we give people the opportunity to see all three films. And we're planning to get a lot more participation from the group members um, uh, where they can come down and they can actually see Predator versus Aliens, things that we promised in the past. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't lived up to, but these will be happening in the future. There's a lot of work to be done at Alien War here. It's, um, because it's a completely new concept, it's never been done before. When initial, the initial kind of crew was put together for here, it was very, very hard to have to know where to begin. Um, a lot of the things we want to do, obviously, are quite expensive. We do intend to eventually use things like makeup effects for the shows, things like that. But the initial improvements are quite, are quite large ones. At the moment, we're doing a, a huge uh, cocoon section for the Alien Queen, which basically involves using large pieces of, of vac form to cocoon an entire area of the base. We're installing a, a full-size Alien Queen as well. We're building a, a, a med lab with loads of cryo tubes with uh, facehuggers floating in. So they're the, the improvements we're working on at the moment. We're actually uh, trying to make a lot more, a lot more scares, make the ride, um, or not the ride, the actual experience a little bit longer, and uh, really give people the feeling they're inside the movie and it's the longest 20 minutes of their life. I think they want to change outside and change some of the attacks as well, change some of our attacks, which I hope they do because it would be good for us as well because sometimes you're doing the same attacks all the time. It, it does get a little bit boring. Um, we'd like to do different things, but there's not the opportunity to do that because the strobe lights, the areas where the strobe lights are, they're, they're, well, where the strobe lights are, is on, are only certain areas in the base. Uh, so there's only certain places where we can do attacks which actually look good. Um, if they had more strobe lights around the base, then you could really do attacks wherever you wanted. 
which would be a lot more fun. One idea we've got for the future is hopefully um, um, for all the future sites around the world, we're thinking about actually starting off with a simulation dropship where we put all the people inside the dropship, we take them down to LV-26 and uh, they'll relive their emergency situation. After that, once the place is about to self-destruct, they all get back in their dropship and they'll take off back to Earth. And hopefully we will then create the ultimate total adventure which will take you beyond virtual reality into a world of total reality.